How's it going guys? So when I was growing up I actually enjoyed eating KFC but as I got older and older in England it just got worse and worse and worse. It's kind of dawned on me that I haven't eaten it here in Malaysia yet so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm here at Makota Mall and uh, luckily, well hopefully, um, according to the map there's a side entrance here uh, where KFC is. I think it's literally like a minute's walk in there. If I go in the front entrance and if you know my channel and malls I'll probably get lost and spend like four hours just lost. <laughs> so let's go in the side entrance hopefully it's just right there and yeah basically I don't get lost. And apparently which I didn't know the KFC actually does nasi lemak. I, I literally didn't know this. Uh, I only thought it was in McDonald's, but it would make sense, right? Uh, chicken, that's the traditional way to have nasi lemak here in Malaysia. So, okay, we've got a Nando's over there, which I didn't know is really, really popular here. There are so many of them. Pizza Hut, okay, perfect. KFC is right here. So that's like 50 meters or something. Okay, so let's take a look at the menu. I want to dine in. Right, so we've got limited time only. Some combos, family buckets. Don't want a bucket. I want the nasi lemak, that's what I want. It looks like rice meals there. Okay, so two piece nasi lemak. Okay, I just want the one piece nasi lemak. Yeah, uh, customized. This one is the hot and spicy chicken. And you can choose the original one or the hot and spicy. Yeah, I'll go for the, the hot and spicy. Keep it as that. Okay, so I'll get the drink with this meal, this combo. Can I change the drink? I can. Uh, what do they have? Coca-Cola, Sprite, uh, Minute Maid orange juice, Sajora mango peach. Okay, I don't think I've heard of Sajora before. I'll go for that, a fancier mango drink. So let's add one and get 60 for that. Um, a face mask? Nah, don't need a face mask. Okay, let's add to order. That, that's the Mac 14.6 ringgit. Okay, so here are the burgers, just the a la carte burgers, Zinger Classic, Zinger Cheesezilla, Zinger Cheesy, Zinger Stacker, Colonel Classic, and the Cheesy Twister. Mm, okay. I might go for the Colonel Classic. Yeah, again, no, I, I, I also definitely do not want a mask. Um, okay, add to order. Right, so we've got those two. Continue ordering. What else do they have? Um, let's, let's see the sides. Five spinach and cheese poppers. All right, I might go for those. They sound like they'll, they'll be all right, maybe. Okay, add to order. Continue ordering. That's 26 ringgit so far. Maybe one more thing. I'm gonna go for whipped mashed potato. Add to order. Okay, proceed to payment. I'll pay by cash. Print in pre-order slip. It's more than a sec. All right, there we go. Got here. Oh no, so it's literally been 10 minutes and my order number's just gone on the monitor up there for preparing order. <sighs> nah, it's all good. It is really, really busy here to be fair and they are working really fast and quite hard. So yeah, it's all good, but I'm starving. And while they're preparing it, let's just take a quick look at the actual like restaurant. It looks pretty clean behind there. Again, when I was in the McDonald's one in the Kuala Lumpur, it was really kind of quiet and orderly inside of there, right in the heart of the center, Bukit Bintang. Um, and this one, yeah, this one is as well. They're working maybe a little bit faster than, than the McDonald's employees, though. Yeah, she's just by herself, just doing like tray after tray after tray. Pretty good. Okay. You don't need, okay, thank you so much. Hi guys, well check this out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks really, really nice. This nasi lemak here, wow. And the, the sambal as well looks awesome. Let's just smell the rice by itself, let's smell. Yeah, wow, that is proper, proper nasi lemak. 
fatty coconut pandan rice. The only thing that I think is missing is anchovies. There are peanuts, but no anchovies. Look at the piece of chicken though, it looks really good. We've got a whole boiled egg, couple of pieces of cucumber. And the size of this as well, the mashed potato with that gravy. Oh my God, I literally cannot wait to try that. I don't think I've had mashed potato in more than three years. But literally, it is more than three years. <laughs> These bites look great as well, little cheesy bites and the burger, let's open it up. Looks really big actually. I thought it was just like the smallest, like most simple basic one that I uh, that I ordered. Oh wow, okay. All right. Mm, doesn't look too bad. I don't know what to go for first, to be honest with you. What shall I try? I, I'm gonna have to go for some of this, um, just a bit of this mashed potato. I really, really do. Oh yeah. Give it a bit of a mix up. This is like a meal in itself. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm. I thought it was going to be like a lot thicker and gloopier, but it's not. That's really like smooth and light. Oh, wow. No lumps in that. <laughs> that gravy as well like really seasoned sorry it's seasoned really well more like uh, it's not too salty mm. Mm. wow literally that is seriously seriously good like you can just come here and eat that as a meal by itself and it's uh, I think it's six ringgit pretty cheap all right guys nasty lamac time I think maybe Maybe they just forgot the anchovies. I'm gonna go and ask and see if they have anchovies because I feel like this dish really, really needs anchovies. Let's find out. Oh, oh hello. Hello, do you have anchovies? Anchovy, the fish with nasi lemak? No. You don't have, no? Oh. Uh, they don't have anchovies, maybe they, yeah, they must have just ran out today or something. Okay, so no anchovies. It's all good though. We still have sambal and the peanuts there. So, oh, almost forgot. I want to try the rice by itself. coconutty but just a little bit it's more pandan and oily tastes a little bit oily almost it's still really really nice but it just needs more coconut yeah okay okay that's that's not too bad um out of just plain nasi lemak rice what would i give that out of 10 i'll probably give that a seven okay right i'm gonna pour the sambal on now just try a little bit by itself. Mm. Yeah, that's quite um, fishy. And there is actually, okay, so that's why. Right, so there's anchovies inside this. Okay, so we do have anchovies, at least one component of it. Um, but they're usually just like deep fried, dried on the side. And not that spicy. Um, definitely a head spicier sambal here. Let's get those peanuts in there as well. Just chop that up, give that a bit of a mix. Mm. Looks really, really nice, right? Check it out. Unfortunately, that when I made the McDonald's video, they ran out of nasi lemak that day. So this is my first fast food nasi lemak here in Malaysia. All right. Cheers. That's really, really nice, actually. I was not expecting that. That really creamy yolk, and then the little crunch of that peanut. The rice. Yeah, the egg is seriously good. 
the yolk, <laughs> more like, the yolk is amazing. Mm. And my anchovies have gone like a tiny little bit chewy. They've, um, they've just like absorbed the, the sambal. Which is still quite nice, you know, but I think crunchy is better. I'm just gonna pick up this piece of chicken, okay? It's really big actually. And um, the batter looks amazing. That's delicious. Oh my god. No, my first um, piece of chicken here in KFC, actually. The, the locals can do it, definitely KFC can do it as well. Uh -huh. Oh wow. That's really, really nice. That's pretty spicy. Was it the zinger one? I think I did get the zinger, right? A little bit of spice inside of there, but not too much. Let's dip that in the sambal. Wow, it is really moist. Look at it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not dry at all. Definitely better than England, I'd say. You know, had to wait a bit of time for it, even though they were really, really busy. I think it was like 20 to 25 minutes in total. But like in England, they they are so fast with it all. But here, I'm happy to wait a bit longer and get better quality food. Do you know what I mean? They literally just don't care in England, or probably the same in America as well. Just take a bit of time, a bit of care with the food, wait a little while, enjoy it more. So, yeah guys, I, I am actually very, very impressed with this Nasi Lamak. Um, it's, it's just like street food Nasi Lamak. Like, I'm not sure if I'd be able to tell the difference if you gave me one from the street, one from here, and you didn't tell me which one was which. Like, this is seriously good. Maybe you can like tell from the way the chicken is cooked. Like, you can just tell it's just a bit different. And um, it's never like that on the streets, but still damn delicious. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now it's burger time. Lots of mayonnaise in there and a bit of lettuce. I think that's all, yeah. And the chicken looks all right. I'm not sure how sort of mushy and sort of processed it might be, but yeah, we'll find out. Okay, the bun, the bun feels all right. Um, feels a bit bready. I'm pretty sure that that is actually real chicken, <laughs> believe it or not. The one in McDonald's was not, it was vile. But this one, just kind of break it up. It actually tastes like chicken, you know. It is a bit mushy still, so they might have done something to it. But yeah, it tastes like chicken, which is what I want when I order a chicken burger. The mayonnaise is good as well. Burger, out of 10, maybe a seven, 7.5, it's pretty good. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try these. I think it's spinach, right? Spinach and cheese poppers. They were called on the menu, but um, it's a bit close up. They're not like poppers, are they? Like inside. Hmm. Smells really nice. I think there's potato inside of there. I can see like chives or maybe spring onion, something like that. And I don't know. This smells really good actually. Okay. Sorry, it's not chives, it's 
they do spinach, of course. So they pretty much taste like spinach and potato, just croquettes. There's not much cheese inside of there. Um, maybe a tiny bit, but I was expecting them to be a bit like, you know, mozzarella, you pull them apart and then the, the cheese just goes stringy, but yeah, it's mostly potato, I would say, which I'm happy with. <laughs> Come to a Western fast food joint, get yeah, mashed potato and potato, I'm happy. Mm, it's better with the ketchup, I'd say. Pretty damn good, guys. Well, as you can imagine, I'm really flipping full. I've eaten everything, you know. Because it was so damn delicious, it was really, really nice. So I'm gonna try this drink now. It's the mango something or other. Let's give it a bit of a, a mix up there. I think the ice has melted a bit on the top. Okay. Let's see what this is like. Oh. That's real mango juice. Definitely. 100%. There's something else with it though. Maybe there's just a lot of ice in here. Uh, probably like 50, maybe more. 60% ice and 40% mango juice. But that's really good. Definitely worth paying the 1.3 ringgit. I think it's 1.3 ringgit extra for, for this instead of just the old bog standard crappy crappy Coke or Pepsi or, or whatever it is. This is much nicer. Mm. Wow, very, very refreshing after this epically gigantic meal of KFC. Whoa, so. That's the mac, damn delicious. The gravy, just a treat for me, to be honest with you. As well as the, the potato spinach popper things, like that was really, really good as well. Um, what else was there? Did I have anything else? Oh, the burger, yeah, I must have forgot about the burger. Just a bit bready. I would say it just needs more chicken inside of there and maybe just a little bit more salad or something, but it was really, really nice. Okay, do I have room for dessert? I mean, there's always room for dessert, right? But a Nescafe Gold Cappuccino ice cream, the Crimbia chocolate brownie fudge, jelly ice cream. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna go for the jelly ice cream. It's only like three ringgit, basically. And I haven't had like jelly and ice cream together since I was like, I don't know, probably about eight years old, at a birthday party or something like that. So I think I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> and look at this, it's really big as well, actually like huge scoop chunk of ice cream on there and a good helping of jelly wow it looks really nice maybe it's coconut i'm not sure let's try the ice cream wow that's like overly like vanilla flavor that's bloody good wow it's like kind of melted already a bit it's really really creamy seriously i don't think i've had like ice cream like this from a fast food place before mm. like mr whippy ice cream back in england exactly the same flavor like from the ice cream van again when i was a kid it's just bringing back memories and just Two simple things just put together. <laughs> it's so damn good. And this jelly is like really, really sweet with the strawberry. It's like natural sweetness from the strawberries, yeah? It doesn't taste like artificial sort of sugar syrup in there or anything. It tastes like real strawberry. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this, you know. Three ringgit for this big pot? <laughs> oh yeah. Smashed it. So as you've gathered, that was 
a really, really good KFC. It's probably one of the best KFCs I've had. The nasi mac was delicious, the sambal was great with it, and the egg as well, so creamy and yolky, and uh, just all of it, it was really, really nice. I'm always hesitant about fast food places in Asia, but I have no idea why, because they're like 100 times better than England. Okay, I am seriously full right now. So I wanna say a massive thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog today, watching me smash and devour that delicious KFC. All right, everyone, have an awesome week. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give us some likes and comments and all of that as well. It really helps my channel out. Okay, everyone, see you soon. Peace out.